You always wanted to do a world conquest, but you don't have a single DLC. YouTubers only show gameplay with the DLCs. Hello guys and welcome back to my no DLC world conquest run as the Ottomans. As you can see, it's looking pretty nicely and our main goal for today's episode for the next 40 to 50 years is to dismantle the HRE and of course keep expanding into all of the directions. We pretty much killed most of the Muslim nations that could be joining our coalition because of massive Vegas expansion. So we're finishing them off today and the thing that I will be starting with is going to deal with the HRE. To do that I'm going to attack Bohemia. Bohemia is allied to one, at least two electors. Because let's see, Bohemia I'm going to attack them. Remember Saxon is emperor so he's going to call his allies as well. So let's go, go for this. Bohemia I'll be at war. Brandenburg is allied to none of them. So I have to ally uh, Brandenburg. Mainz is allied to Bohemia. It's good. Palatinate is uh, allied to none of them, so you have to ally Palatinate and Brandenburg. Saxony is Emperor. Magdeburg is allied to none of them, so I'll be having to ally Brandenburg, Palatinate and Magdeburg. And as for Ulm, Ulm is allied to Saxony, so I'll be, it should be good. I was also thinking about that a lot, with a, a lot of space of the Garan capacity, so I should maybe stay at few more provinces and I'll try doing that within my trade notes so Constantinople, Alexandria, uh, Basra, Persia those notes that I, I can somehow control where the value is going to so I'll be able to build the manufacturers and get even more value, more income, more everything I can start with Al Jazeera because you can see I have course, full course on those three provinces because it's from the vassal so I have just to uh, core this to later can do the same with Azerbaijan here, uh, with Shirvan, with those I could think, but I think I'll not do that. And I will also go for Delta and Bahari. Of course, I just took the admin deck, so I don't have powerpoints to core this, but as soon as I'll be able to, I'll take care of that. So I'll be working to further increase this and also this, and as my income is 300, I'm going to build up another 20 0, 10 stuck around here. There will go the last elector that need to ally, so Magdeburg. I just needed to improve relation by maximum and then give as well. So let's get to the 12, ally them. We have to double check again if uh, something changed in this uh, alliances. So Brandenburg we have alliance. Mainz is allied to Bohemia. Palatinate is allied to us. Saxony is emperor. Magdeburg is allied to us and Ulm is allied to to Saxony. So we are ready and also I court most of the provinces already. It helped us get to 330 income and 387 of the force limit. So in fact I can build up another stack which will be in Russia and I'll build a couple of manufacturers in these provinces. Just the most efficient ones. That's it. And also a little bit of the workshops where I can and the manpower buildings. Oh, that's a lot of manpower. That's a lot of manpower. And I will be left with almost 6,000 ducats for the war. I believe four stacks should be enough to deal with them. Declare the war. I'm going to call Palatinate into that. Spain, I guess, uh, is too, yes, too much in debt. And same goes for Savoy. So just declare with, uh, together with Palatinate. We need to go after the capitals of all of the electors that are not our allies. Plus the Emperor. Bohemia is Praga for Mainz. It's going to be here, that's Mainz. So this guy's special mission is going to be uh, to get Mainz. This is my ally, Saxony. Okay, Saxony has a special mission as well. Oh my god, that's a long way. Let's go maybe through Trenching first. Go through Poznań. Then we have uh, finally Ulm. Okay, so maybe you'll go to Ulm. That's a long way as well, but definitely worth it. You're going to Praha. And you'll go to Poznań. It's time to get some stack wipes. I'll start with defending the fort in Praga. Oh, seriously, they took Poznań like 70 days. Okay, maybe you'll at least stack wipe them in exchange? Oh no, that's not even close to get them stack wipe. Eh, I expected way more. Okay, there we go. Again, explanation. I'm allied to those three electors. 
and those four capitals are occupied. Ulm is occupied, Mainz is occupied, Dresden is occupied, Praha is occupied. As easy as that and right now I can click this and we have no more Holy Roman Empire. And for the war with Bohemia I don't want to take much, probably just my claim and maybe those few provinces which is not as expansion but it's always something that's some truth. And next we'll think to do one is just because it's mainly on the Protestant nations like this expansion. Next thing is going to be attacking uh, Austria, but this will be after I attack Russia. Because Russia is big and Russia is weak and uh, our truce with them already ended. I feel like wars with Russia are the quickest. It started last year and I can already piece them out. 100% of the war score. Those few princes are going directly to my vassal Novgorod and I'll also sell them three provinces, so I'll keep my prestige high for the improved relation bonuses, but still I will fit my vassal a little bit. Finest part of selling the process to a vassal is that he's actually paying for them 300 ducats. I have nothing against that. Now I can finally go after Kurland, because I have a mission to conquer the provinces and it will give me free admin points, which is of course something that I'm always pursuing. Problem is Denmark will help them. But I'll be able to call Spain into this war, which is super cool. Why is it super cool that I'll be able to call... Oh my god, that's a lot of troops. Uh, yeah, you maybe go here and you go there. It's cool because now we have two Sicilies. Yay! This is a color. Super cool because I can attack Tunis without uh, Spain helping them. This will be conquest of Kef. I'm once again reaching my limit of mill points and I'm not going to take the technology so early. So I'm going to the development, I'm going for the cheapest dev provinces. I'm devving a little bit of my manpower for 300 points to increase that furthermore. Integration of Unarak just finished and my borders in India are even better. From Kurland I'm taking all three of my claims plus this province to make the borders beautiful. You remember we don't do much border gore in this series. Peace and out, I should get the mission now, 50 admin points. And the next three wars that we have to take care of is Tunis, it's this African war and it's Afghanistan. Getting these promises from Tunis is giving me not only 116% of the extension, also this is coming higher, so I started building a couple of courthouses just to balance it. And I have the mission from conquering those provinces, which is here, conquering Tunisia, and it gives me new claims around here and this one will giving me 25 years bonuses to the navy and nothing really important i'm not slowing down i'm getting it even faster we're speeding the things up with this piece on those two nations our overextension is now 170 which is not a problem at all first batch of car houses is finishing right now in 10 days it's going to decrease this from 2010 to 1880. You can see how easy you can work on your gathering capacity. And as I'm still really rich, I'm going to spend it further more, except my capital state. Oh, that was a misclick. That was a misclick. Don't build there. Don't build there. And I'm going to spend another 2000 on those buildings. Benga is flying around, of course, with millions of troops. But, yes, 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 they're getting into my trap. I baited them to attack me here in the jungle. I'm waiting for them to be movement locked. So now if I turn on this force march and as it is scorched, I'll be there on 27th, they'll be on the 27th as well. And I think we have a huge chance of even stack wiping them and those guys will be not even close to reinforce the battle. And uh, no, not a stack wipe. Not a stack wipe, but I have another victim here in Santagon. Also without any success, yeah, I think our our army quality while playing only with quantity ideas is not that huge and uh, that's why we can't even stack with them. From Bengal, I think I'm going to take first border gore, but I'm taking mostly my claims plus border of Ayufaya because we are slowly moving into China, which is bordering with Ayufaya. So let's go and piece this out. This will cost me a couple of diplo points. But I guess it doesn't matter, same as this aggressive expansion and this overextension. So, peace them out. And next step is to get the new technology 
and invest in the new idea as I'm thinking right now between offensive, which gives me super policy together with uh, humanist ideas for the stability of the country, or trade to increase our income to even bigger numbers. There goes the technologies. It was a choice between trade, but I don't have that many diplo points for now, so it will be easier to take it in the next one, especially that the next... Wait, 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 what, 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 what? Why I don't see Imperialism and Casus Belly here? Guys, don't tell me Imperialis Casus Belly is only with the DLCs. That would be so lame. I need to Google that. I checked Wiki, there was no information about DLCs with the Imperialis Casus Belly. Then I just restarted the game. I just uh, used the console commands to get to the 23rd technology. And I received the uh, Imperialis Castle's bill. It's just weird that the game is not showing it right here. But it's there. So I had a mini heart attack. Thinking what I will do without the Imperialis Castle's belly, but it's there. So my choice over here will be offensive ideas because I have a massive amount of the mill points and a massive amount of the mill points that I'm receiving. From Bohemia, I'm going to take all of these provinces. Or maybe a little bit more? No, I think it, it, only those, because Lübeck, Thuringia, Bavaria, Mecklenburg will be able to join the coalition. So I started improving with Lübeck and Thuringia already, and right now also with Bavaria. Why would he even bait them into joining the coalition? We also unlocked town halls, so the next level of courthouses. So what I'm going to do is to spend another two, two and a half thousand on adding them to our provinces. So we'll be controlling our governing capacity even better. I'm thinking a lot of what should I do. I could go after my claims in Denmark. That would be around 150, 400,000 troops to fight with. Or should I go after Austria that I have a mission on? And this will be half a million troops with the allies. Why me? Okay, I'll be having more of them, but this would be super risky. I need to prepare for that. I need to prepare at least... Uh, Three big stacks because they will be bringing a lot of troops. And I don't have that many. I'm thinking if I should bring troops from here. Okay, I'll bring one more stack, two more stacks. Now this stack will be busy fighting with Transoxiana in a second. Yes, yeah, so I'll bring this one more. And how is my money? Mm, I think it's a little bit too early to bring another stack. But what I can do, I can decrease my uh, spendings on the forts, and I'm going to kill a few of them like this one. This one I can keep, this one I can keep, this one uh, is not so useful. Same for this. This one will be useful. Uh, this are very useful, this one not so much. This is okay. I don't really need forts here and here. I, I would say I need a fort here or here to like block guys from coming from here and here to enter my mainland. So I'm going to build a level 2 fort in uh, Shrikia. As I declared on Austria and I'm at war with all of those boys right now. Is this from Denmark? No, Denmark also is helping Austria. Because of this, coalition started forming. That's the first time since I don't remember when. But look, almost no one can join it. I have troops with uh, Bahwanis, with Bengal, with Chagata, with Uzbek, with Russia. With Tunis, so uh, those guys have positive opinion of me. What the hell you would you like to achieve here by this coalition? This war will be freaking bloody. I've won multiple battles with them already, mainly thanks to the scorched F. I can't tell tell you how many ki kills I have because it's not showing without the DLCs. But we already have some wars go from the battles, and Portugal is. Pretty exhausted, even though it just started. So it's good. Do I have the war goal now? I've lost the war goal, which is here, so I need to take it back. And those guys are going for some stack wipes! Yep. From Portugal, I'm taking 800 ducats. We better. And they have even less troops. And now Spain should start helping us somehow. I separate piece most of the miners out of the war, except Tasca and Tusasilis, because they're simply too big. And this is basically what I would like to take from Austria. So my claims here and a little bit of the provinces that are clearing the border gore. There will be no one major new coming into the coalition. To show you how big difference will be the next admin technology. 
This is the full wall score that I can currently take. 231 admin points, 91% of extension, 97 of the war score cost. I can take this for just 487, so I still have a bunch of these points. And same provisions, 193 admin points, 76% of extension, and just 81 war score cost. And I could already take it, and then in the next war I would fully annex them. So I'll, I'm going for this. It's clear that they will be uh, accepting this peace deal. Well, I will siege down this fort, stack up these troops, and I'll be able to take uh, like 500 ducats on top of that. They can also peace out Russia. The current war score cost with the new tech and admin is 135%. So this is nice. I could actually take this before the war and I will be able almost to fully annex them because this tech is going to give me imperialism. So I guess those two wars with Russia and Vijay were the last wars uh, where I didn't actually uh, use the imperialism castle's belly. I'm giving all of those princes to Novgorod. So it's nice. This is right now 134% of our extension, but I'm going to give these two provinces. To the hands of Novgorod. Why, of course, I, I cannot transfer the occupation, so I need to sell the provinces. And to sell the province, I need to get out of this useless war. So let's get out of it. Since now, guys, as I took the 23rd Diplotech, I don't have to care about any claims. I can just attack Korea without caring about the claim, and I can go for the imperialism. So finally, freedom. I can use my diplomas right now to purely improve relations with the guys. Whew. And as I don't have to care about claims anymore, I can finally go farther into Africa. I'm going to use the ships to blockade them and go full all in. I freaking hate this event. Minus one stability when I'm only on one. And I have 124 over extension. But of course, when it goes down, this shouldn't cost 200, I guess it will like 100, maybe 95. I think it's going to be my first proper naval landing. So let's get these 30,000 troops. White piece those guys because they should agree for more than a white piece. So break the alliance with those second boys. So I will be attacking them right away when it ends. Because I'm sure I'll be able to take all of those promises and appeal this deal with Sakalava. So naval landing. Those guys are going there. I have 58% of the war score, so probably I'm already close to take whatever I want. But I want to take a little bit more than that. Oh my god, they have 98 ships here. And the thing is, I still have 20 heavy ships. They have 18 of them. What I'm going to do, I'm going... Oh my god! We have slight problem with governing capacity. See, he's decreasing pretty slowly. Because of course we have a lot of territories. So I'm not the biggest fan of losing it. But on the other hand, we don't have admin points for the stability. For like, for loss of two stability. So, oh my god. It's 10 years. It costed us 10 years. I guess it doesn't matter that much. It's just more absolutes, which we are taking care of anyway. So you go and hide. I don't want to fight with the fleet. And let's see how much I'll be able to take in a peace deal. Oh yeah, that's 83% and 111 of our extension. So I guess it's pretty perfect with no August expansion on anyone. What I have just to do is to core those princes first, which is happening right now, and take the stability before I get more over extension from Sakalava. Yep, 95, exactly as I thought. So increase the stability. Now I'm waiting for the capital, which is a war goal, and we are going to take everything in the continental Africa. Spain just called me into the war against Portugal, so I can just attack Tunis without getting either Spain or Portugal into that. And I can even call Palatinate to help me, I guess they will help with Tuscany. So imperialism, go for it, use it right away. This is, uh, we need to look for such opportunities and to just go after Tuscany with, mm, I need a bit leader. But I don't have such, so let's go with this. And as a reminder, I'm keeping the governing capacity and the good amounts because I still build up town holes whenever I'm reaching closer to the limit of the governing capacity. 
So I'm again spending two, three thousand ducats on fighting this, and you can see we are getting them almost everywhere. Uh, money situation is amazing, 380. So I'm going to use this situation to build another stack in India because right now I will be pushing more into China. So I need another stack to help here. Kurland actually freaking created a coalition against me. Kurland. So I'm going to attack. Truce, uh, let me see the truce map mode. Well, like, with almost everyone that can join the coalition, I have truce. Except Denmark. So I guess I'm going to go after Denmark, especially that they are reformed, so it's not going to even hurt me. Uh, just the war might be a little bit... Oh my god, Austria. They allied to Austria. I, I hate fighting with Austria because they have so many lands in Burgundy. No, I'm going to pass attacking them. Going to attack uh, Kurland instead, which will be giving me Denmark, but this way I'll be able to break Danish alliance with Austria at least. I'm not really lucky with stability lately. Another hit for us, because our ruler just died. New one is 3 2 3, so it's not bad, and the air is 3 4 2. So, also, not really the best, but I'm, uh, I think it's uh, not that bad. Pay money to Janissaries. 10, 6, 9, not so bad, just this will hurt me. I don't have, right now I'm spending so many admin points on coring the conquered provinces that I don't have that many of them. I'll have to play more with vassals right now, which as you might know is problematic. Also Bachman is randomly allied Bengal in the meantime, so I'll have to deal them. Actually, have capital just next to me, so it won't be a problem to white piece them. And here it's going nicely. Oh, it's just... Oh, Chagatai. Like, Bengal didn't have alliance with Chagatai and Bahwans, and now, right now, they randomly took those alliances in the mid-war. At least I managed to catch all of those troops in one stack. So right now, just can consolidate with shift and do a carpet siege. Remember, I was explaining how to do that correctly in the previous episode. And I have also a guide about that. Just stack wave them, carpet is everything back. Uh, you will get to this capital. I think standing on the capital might be even enough to white piece. And then we'll take down Bengal. I thought that it's great that without DLCs you can go confront with a template. But as you can see when I'm clicking that, absolutely nothing is happening. So after all I need to do that manually anyway, which is... Pain in the ass, honestly. From uh, Bengal, we're just waiting to piece out Chagata, which is happening right now because we just got the capital. So break your relations with Bengal and Uzbek. Peace out. You can go on the border with Uzbek. There it goes. Get everything that I want to take. And here I'm going to release a nation called Manipur because that's the only one nation that is to be released here. So release them. Then. It's even the same color as me, almost. We on the over relations limit, it's okay. I'm going to start annexing Novgorod them. And uh, let's feed them with a couple of provinces. I would like to feed them all of this through selling the provinces. And I prefer you to not go bankrupt because of that. Actually, I'll not be able to core this because of that. Yes, I need to feed them with all of these provinces. And I'm scared that. They might not be able to core of those. We'll see. We'll see. We might just do it more long term. Well, I know the funniest thing in the world. I would like to help Novgorod with the rebels. They have some peasants. Problem is, I can't see those provinces and I can't enter those provinces. And I can't buy maps and I can't steal maps. Because it's... Yeah, there's nothing about the maps. With full annexation of Uzbek, look on the borders. Well, I wanted to get to 10,000 development by 1700, but we're definitely going to miss a couple of hundreds. We probably will having around 9,000, which is still according to the plan. We just need... Uh, we'll need soon to start jagging truces in Europe. Just for now, we're using that we have three different religions dominating here, and I'm allied to the Catholic guys, and so it shouldn't be a problem. I thought that Novgorod will take a lot of time to annex and look on that. Five years. Just five years to annex this nation that is having like 250 development. Like imagine how powerful it would be. If not the fact that I cannot normally feed them my provinces. But I have to sell the provinces or give them in a peace deal which is not effective at all. 
with at least Great Britain as a defender of the faith is not going to help them. And as soon as I piece out Ava and Ayufaya here, I will be probably also able to call allies here, but there's no time to waste, let's go after them right away. Thanks to this Asian war, I can break relations between Ayufaya and Ming, so it will be a little bit easier to kill Ming, which is already allied to Ashikaga and Korea, and Ashikaga is having the whole thing here. This is weird, why would they even ally Ming? Ming is probably already the second greatest nation in the world, as for the military, I would guess. They are on the same level as uh, as Great Britain currently. From Ava, I'm going to break the relations of Ayufai and Shu. And I will also take a couple of provinces. Maybe this I will leave for later to give to Manipur. But right now, I'm going to take those for myself without this one. Yep, just, just send them the peace deal. Uh, this went even though I think to him or this was in their hands. No, I think I just gave it to them, which is nice during the war with uh, Ming, which is just getting started. Attack Bahwanis. Unfortunately, Manipur received rebels all over here, so I have to rush the war with Bahwanis. And also, I'll be attacking Maravi at the same time, so we'll be speeding the things up. ASAP, you're so ahead. Well, I thought I'm more ahead in this tech. But I thought Korea would do nothing in this war, but they just sent me a horde of carpet switching troops. Good that I have a couple of force in this region, this will be worse in this. But I think I can try piecing out Bahwanis after all. The problem is uh, I could fully annex them, but it would be, be hard 20 of extension and I will have to continue this war for a longer time. So I'm just going to take as much as they're going to agree on this point, just this, and I will fully annex them in the next war. Just take a little bit of money, get rid of them, core everything. This stack will go north to deal with Ming. Oof. And we might get ready to declare on Maravi now. So, declare war, take capital, we go take capital, go take war. This should be a pretty quick war. This war took me like Reach here a few months. I can piece them out already. Now the question is, what the hell I would like to take? I guess that we will be really close to be able to fully annex them. Yeah, just one province missing. But I am already 96% overextended, and I have 200 admin points. So I'll just take something like this. I'll close them inside myself. Take as much money as I could. Just a little bit less, and that's it. That's it. I can definitely take care of 100 cents of extension. Yay, the China war even. That's a lot of free money. Also, I'm getting rebels right now everywhere, but I think that might be caused by our overextension. But this is just my assumption. From Korea, I definitely need to break the relations with Ming and take a little bit of the money that I had to go straight to Pyongyang, right? Now I have 88% of the war score against China, even 94. They reoccupied all of those, started to occupy me here. It's okay, those guys are coming back. Those guys are going here because I'm going to take all of this land in the peace deal. Provinces are just 50% of the war score, but it's step by step. They don't have any tributaries, so I'll be able to go after all of the others. Let's take all of the money, 2000 nuggets, because in two years we have institution and it would be good to prepare for it. Also, as for preparation, I don't have a single university in my country, so let me think. Uh, let's see, enlightenment, 1700, it's in a state. The institution can appear only in the province of university and with 30 at least development and it needs to be in a state from what i see it's in my state yeah i have one two three such provinces i'm going to build universities in all three of them to at least you know get any chance of getting this institution so it will be Dirne, constantinople and kahir it's going to be built in may 99 what is important with dealing with potential coalitions is to keep killing small nations that you can eat right away and you have a lot of, I guess, expansion then. That's why I'm going to attack Jaunpur, 
then also Chagatai with these guys and finally Algiers here in Africa. I can finally finish my offensive ideas just before 1700. So take this, this is additional discipline which is right now 117 and a half and a couple of new policies. The most important for us is national unrest and years of separatism. Because of this, even though we have 97 over extension, we have just this amount of the rebels. Reminder, it is plus 5 of national unrest from this over extension. So when it goes down in a second to 0, maybe not 0, it will be 20 ish. When it goes down to 30, now. We have just this amount of the rebels, almost zero. But if the institution is on the same continent as us, it's not, then it is going to be super problematic with this institution. Because see, as it's different continent, it springs at just 0 0.56. So it will take 15 years to get to these two provinces. This would be a huge problem. Look, like whole Europe doesn't have any universities. It's freaking empty! China has the most of the universities. I will have to conquer them and stay to these provinces. Which might be problematic with this. Ah, uh, this institution will be disaster for everyone. I can feel it already. Now let me show you the players map mode and what we achieved today. We finally got into China. We are getting deeper into Africa, deeper into Europe whole India is ours and I think we are on a very good way to achieve our goal to get a world conquest without using a single DLC. In 1700 here we have 9000 of development. I think it's a little bit slower than in the schedule but it's still really great. Only problem is we should do better in Europe. We need to do better here but as there is no HRE I think it's still totally possible and we soon should start taking care of Great Britain because we need at least 5 wars. So for today guys, thank you so much for watching and if you like this video, just remember to leave a like and comment on it and I will see you soon.